Blues tell a story. They show where you've been. They take you where you're going. Ever since I was a kid, I've loved shoes. I've collected them, shared them, and dreamed of owning my own business one day where I can sell them. Growing up as a football player in the South, this was just part of life. I collected shoes, I played football, I went to church, and I got used to everyone around me being cut from the same cloth. We shared a common culture together. That was my comfort zone. It was cool to be a football player. It was cool to have new shoes. It was cool to be a Christian. When I came up north to go to college, I experienced a culture shock. Playing football at a D1 school brought with it a lot of things I wasn't used to. Not only were people very different than I was, but it was no longer cool to be a Christian. And for the first time in my life, I felt like the outsider. On top of that, I was redshirted and wasn't playing football my freshman year. I would put in the work at practice, but didn't get to play on Saturdays. Between the rigors of classes, not playing football, and the tensions I felt being so far away from everything that I knew, I reached a breaking point at the end of the year. I called my dad and told him I wanted to look at different schools. I wasn't playing, I wasn't comfortable, and I wasn't happy. I felt like my world was falling apart. And then I talked with Mark. I remember where we were. It's where we always met, at a table in the event center. I don't remember exactly what was said, but I remember coming away from that conversation realizing that it wasn't my situation that needed to be changed. It was my heart. And my life changed at that point. I looked at the world around me and for the first time noticed that it wasn't full of people who were different than me. It was full of hurting people who needed the good news of Jesus. Suddenly I saw my team, my classes, and my career as an opportunity to share the gospel, not a hindrance to it. And what a throw! By Voidick. Mark continued to challenge me in my walk with Christ, helping me grow in wisdom and see opportunities to share my faith. After our trip to Haiti, he helped me develop a vision of incorporating my faith into my future business. Who would have thought that a shoe store could be used to spread God's love? God needs faithful Christians in every profession, utilizing their God-given passions to shine His light into the world. And I can't wait to do it. Wherever I go, on the field, in the office, around the world, I want to share the good news. The love of God with everyone I meet. All because my campus minister didn't shy away from challenging me, calling me to a more mature faith. I don't know where my life would be now without him. Shoes tell a story, and these shoes tell the story of God's love. Mm -hmm.